Astronomy GCSE, topic 13, radio astronomy. What do we need to know about radio astronomy? Now, this is an important graph uh, from NASA, and it basically tells us what different kinds of radiation can get through the Earth's atmosphere and what can't. Important for you to remember, what can get through? Well, visible light can get through, and radio waves can get through. Uh, everything else can't get through. Well, there's a, some ultraviolet gets through, uh, a bit of infrared gets through, uh, some microwaves can get through, but not a great deal. I mean, visible light, no problem. Radio waves, no problem. Everything else struggles to get through. It's absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. For example, infrared is absorbed by moisture, it's absorbed by water vapour. How does a radio telescope work? You have a large parabolic dish and the parabolic dish will focus all of these radio waves onto a reflector which reflects it onto a receiver which produces a signal which will go off to a computer It'll be amplified and then processed by a computer, possibly to produce a, a false colour image. That would make sense to us. Something we can do with radio telescopes is we can link them together uh, to form an aperture synthesis system or an array. This is the, the VLA, the Very Large Array in New Mexico. Lots of radio telescopes linked together, produces a very large aperture. Radio astronomy, uh, what's it useful for? Uh, different things, here's some examples, quasars. A quasar is a very, very large, old, far away galaxy, a very old galaxy. It has a very active nucleus. There's a supermassive black hole in the middle and there's something around there which is producing lots of radio waves. So for looking at quasars, uh, jets from black holes, um, stuff gets sucked into a black hole and some of it rebounds, goes flying off, jets of material, lots of radio waves again emitted. We know a lot about the structure of the Milky Way using now, when hydrogen atoms get excited, they emit 21 centimetre radio waves. So hydrogen atoms, 21 centimetre radio waves. OK, this isn't hydrogen alpha, this is something else. And our Milky Way is made up of an awful lot of hydrogen. And by measuring these 21 centimetre radio waves and also seeing if they're red shifted or blue shifted, we can work out the, the structure of the Milky Way, all the different spiral arms of the Milky Way by looking at these radio waves. And lastly, protoplanetary disks. When a star is forming, uh, the disk of material uh, around the star and emits radio waves and they've been studied using radio telescopes.